Okay, here's what's going on in the next couple of days, all the way on into Friday morning. And what we have going on is basically uh, temperatures down, then back up. Well, we'll show you. Let's get to it. Uh, during the evening hours, later on during the evening, we'll see this cold front come through. There's where things are by 11 o'clock at night. We'll see a bit of wind with it, 10 to 20 mile an hour winds. Not a huge, huge drop in temperatures. Uh, by 11 o'clock at night, 60 to 64 degrees into the region. And then by tomorrow morning, around 50, 55, still a bit breezy to start the day for tomorrow. And then we don't get back up all that much. Temperatures in the low 60s during the afternoon hours for Wednesday. As far as cloud cover, nope. As far as rain, nope. Not likely to see that. We go from Wednesday evening on into Thursday morning. The cool air that drops through, well, it's lifting back northward. As a warm front, we'll see that front uh, lift back northward through the region. So by Thursday morning, might start the day with uh, again with a breeze, 10 to 20 mile an hour winds, and in the mid to upper 50s, and warm right back on up into the upper 70s for a high temperature for the day on Thursday. So definitely cooler tomorrow, low 60s, but we're coming right back up for the day on Thursday. But then we're, there's where we are by Thursday evening at 7. We're looking for colder air to drop back on in. Uh, so this one warm day is going to be happening on Thursday. And by Friday, we're back into the cooler air uh, and a bit of a breeze again, 18 to 25 miles an hour uh, coming up by Friday morning, 15 to 20, and a little bit of scattered rainfall for the day on Friday, likely to be very light rainfall for the region. So cooler, warmer in a big way, cooler again uh, with some scattered light rain, and it stays cooler with highs in the upper 50s and around 60 all the way from Friday into next week.